Let's do a vlog today, because why not? I grew up watching vlogs from people like Casey Neistat, uh, Faze Rain, sometimes the Sidemen. So why not make my own? I feel like I live a pretty interesting life, I would say. Now, if you don't know me already, my name is Christian. I'm an artist based in New York City. And I'm sort of in a transitory period from college and more school, uh, or possibly more grants relating to art. So right now I'm just making art all the time, making YouTube videos and stuff. I like to think my life is pretty cool living in a big city. Um, I'm very grateful to have family here, to be able to live here. But yeah, first thing I do in the mornings is go get breakfast, so let's do that. Bacon, egg, and cheese on a hero. You might be wondering why this place sort of looks like uh, a boiler room. Um, and it's because it is. Well, it's not exactly the boiler room. My dad is a superintendent of a building here in New York City, Harlem. We have access to this sort of basement space that is supposed to be kept for tools and stuff. But, you know, I've sort of made a little nook for myself to be able to, to make art. Yeah, I won't show too much detail, but, you know, just so you know, if you live in this building, I have the power to turn it off completely. And here's the boiler room. If you've ever wondered what a boiler looks like in it's such a big building, it's massive. I, I love being able to look at like the freaking original, original bricks over there, you know? This building was built like in 1911, a lot of history, but yeah, very old. Also, I've never done a fit check, but you know, I, I, don't, I, don't, get, I don't care about clothes too much. So these are my paint pants and I just picked up this hoodie. So I apologize for kind of you know, the monochrome seat. Let me know, let me know if you f with these shoes though. I don't know, I, I just bought them at a store on Broadway and I thought they were pretty funny. So. I've always wanted to do one of those cool transition things. So like taking off my sweater. So let's try that. Okay, let's try it. Ready? Okay, did that work? I don't know. And then, okay, now let's put this one on. Cool, let's go. All right, so right now the time is 10.46. It is 10.46. And at this point in the day, in the morning, I, don't really like to paint, but I like to prep stuff, prep paintings, and record some videos. So, yeah. Can you see me? Cool. I've noticed that people like to see those reveal videos where they sort of flip over the canvas and stuff. So I'm gonna do that with a couple of paintings. So, let's do it. Now it is time to just put a coat of paint over this so I can get rid of that background and then also get rid of all this white because I don't really like it right now. And this dog is going to be gray, which I'm probably going to lean towards more of a green. So I'm thinking having the background be more warm. So that's the goal. All right, so sort of art is done for the day. But as of right now, I have to go downtown. I have to go down to uh, bring my cat to a doctor's appointment. I, I've been getting into street photography both because in a previous video I mentioned I'm doing a, I applied for a grant uh, to paint these paintings. Um, and the subject matter was gonna be photos that I took from the street. I wanna start building that portfolio um, here in New York. Just got a book. It goes through a bunch of different international artists um, who essentially just go around and take pictures of people. I kind of want to emulate some of these. Uh, I've done street photography before, but it's more so taking pictures of things in the environment. And I want to start taking pictures of people and stop being so scared. So that's the plan. So we'll see how it goes now. <laughs>
All right, back in the stew. I haven't gotten down talking in public. It's kind of weird to me just, you know, holding this camera being like, what's good? But we're back. I got some shots of my body cam around the city, which I hope I can edit to be uh, sort of satisfying. But in the city, I was just basically taking some photos, um, which I'll show in that edit, I assume. But right now, I'm just gonna chill out for a little bit and then uh, get some editing done and maybe some painting. Okay, cool, it's done. Um, yeah, I don't even know what time it is, but it is late. I just finished this painting, I'm very happy with it. I might try and start getting some paint on this one, some some colors, not too sure. And yeah, I'll get some editing done as well. I'll probably edit this video too. Just put it all together and see, see what happens, so. getting later and later. Uh, I thought I was gonna be able to get to this painting over here. Doesn't look likely. I uh, I did edit a good amount of this vlog, so hopefully it'll come out the day after that. I've, I'm recording this, but we'll see tomorrow. Like I mentioned, my dad's a superintendent and we take care of the garbage of the building. So sometimes uh, I like to help my dad and I, I get to, uh, you know, go through the garbage, pick up the recycling, um, put it in the, the correct, places and bring it up to the street for collection to pick it up. Yeah, life of a New York City kind of super. I'm not really the super. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. This is my first vlog. Maybe I'll do more if this gets a good reception. I think there's so much to do in the city, right? I feel like I could just travel to you know, museums. I could do live drawing sessions everywhere. The possibilities are infinite. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you if you've made it this far. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Um. It really means a lot that someone is interested enough or is entertained enough by my videos to stay until the end. So leave a comment too. I respond to every comment. Yeah. Thank you so much again. I appreciate you. Keep it easy.